Good afternoon, YouTubers. Apparently, apparently, the king has made um, Harry and Meghan the prince and princess <laughs> of Sussex. Or another way of putting it is uh, maybe he hasn't. Maybe, maybe it's a figment of Meghan's imagination. But over to my wife. Yeah, it's it's in an article called Marker. I've never heard of this before, and it says UK News. I don't know if it's American or not. Hold it up. Let's have a look. There. Marker. Hang on, let me just get a close-up on it. Yeah, because they'll probably change it, won't they? But the prince and princess bit is in the first paragraph there. They haven't even used a capital P for prince or princess. Oh, it's got to be American then, hasn't it? Um, it says, according to Meghan Markle's friend, CBS host Gail King... The Prince and Princess of Sussex have returned to their Los Angeles home. The Prince and Prince... I can't believe it. I hope... I've heard rumour that Charles is going to change the councillors of state. He's going to remove Andrew and Harry. And I think that's the right course of action, actually. And I hope... I know people are talking about Anne and Edward, yes. I think they can have up to six... But I think it's essential that Camilla is also a, a councillor of state because she is the Queen Consort now. And equally, I think it's important that Catherine is a councillor of state because more importantly with Catherine, her father-in-law is king, her husband is going to be king, and she has three heirs to the throne who are her children. Can I just so stop you there for a moment? Could you just explain to people who don't know what a councillor of state is? Oh, right. Um, yeah, British, British and Commonwealth, I presume, would know. But for those that don't, if King Charles were to fall ill, then councillors of state are people who can step in and sign paperwork and do things in their name. And at the moment, Prince Harry is a councillor of state and so is Prince Andrew. Uh, since the, when the Queen was alive, there was Charles, William, Andrew and Harry. Obviously now the Queen's died, Charles is the King, so William will be a councillor of state, Harry and Andrew. So they've only got three at the moment. They're supposed to be, I think, minimum four. But I really don't think it's appropriate for Harry to be a councillor of state. He's not in the United Kingdom. He's clearly got terrible judgment for many reasons, which I won't go into. I don't think I need to. I think Andrew's obviously got terrible judgment. Um, Princess Anne has great judgment. Prince Edward has great judgment. And I equally think that both uh, our current Queen Consort and future Queen Consort need to be councillors of state. That's really important. Because if uh, Charles were to fall ill and William was away abroad, or God forbid something happened to William, we're left with Harry and Andrew at the moment. Would anyone leave them in charge of a piss up in a brewery? Well, maybe <laughs> Andrew. I don't know about Harry. <coughs> I bet Andrew can throw some good parties. Said in the poorest of taste. <laughs> Thank you.